These may look like your average palm trees, but they produce a fruit that goes into making one of the most widely used ingredients in the world. Okay, we are now in the middle of a palm oil estate. What you'll see beside me is very interesting. It's the golden crop. They're oil palm trees, and every single fruit is picked, crushed, and refined to make palm oil. Nearly one in every three drops of the world's palm oil comes from Malaysia, where this oil is not just an ingredient, but a part of everyday living. My name is Sham Lakshmanan. I've been working in palm oil and related industries for the last 40 years. I didn't specifically choose to work in the palm oil industry. I guess it chose me. Sham is the general manager of one of Malaysia's major palm oil refineries, located in Sandakan, and has spent decades focused on advancing palm oil processing, ensuring quality, sustainability, and efficiency at every stage. This tree is ready for harvesting. How it's determined is by the number of loose fruits that fall to the ground. The guideline is a minimum of three fruitlets. Right above here, you'll see a bunch where the color has already started changing. It's indicating that this is ready for harvesting. From the moment these trees are ready for harvest, a careful process begins. Okay, we're now heading over to look at a platform where we have stored the fruit bunches and loose fruits. After harvesting, workers grade the bunches for ripeness, which is determined by their reddish-orange color. If the fruits are darker, they're likely underripe and contain less oil. Interestingly, the palm oil tree produces two separate oils. What you see on the orange is what produces crude palm oil, whereas the kernel, the inner white uh, meat, produces what is called palm kernel oil. Harvesters need to work quickly to get the fruit bunches from the plantation to the mill within 24 hours to get the best yield and quality. The bunches are actually dumped over here into the ram to feed it into the mill for further processing. The bunches are first sterilized to prevent the oil from breaking down and to soften the fruit. Next, they are sent to a rotating drum that separates the thousands of individual fruits from the bunches, which are then pressed to extract crude palm oil in its natural red color. Extracting the oil is just the beginning. Crude palm oil needs to be transported to refineries and further processed to ensure it's safe, clean and meets manufacturer's standards. Every day, tankers from mills across Sandakan arrive at Sham's plant, where the refining process begins. As you can see now, there's a certain procedure for taking samples. This is then dropped into the chute to send it into the lab. Another grading takes place at the lab to check how fresh, pure and stable the palm oil is. Oils with higher moisture spoil faster, while lower levels of free fatty acids indicate fresher, better quality oil. The oil moves from the tanks into the refinery, where it's heated, bleached and steamed to get rid of impurities and unwanted contaminants. And you can see, once the oil comes out, it will not contain any more impurities. It's actually a very clear oil that can be seen from these side glasses. So you'll see there is a violent agitation inside. The purpose is to increase the surface area to enhance stripping and removal of impurities. The final steps in palm oil refining are deodorization, which applies steam to remove odors and also brighten the oil's color, and fractionation, which separates the oil into a liquid and a solid for different uses. With the oil now on its way to storage tanks, this marks the final step before palm oil is sent off to manufacturers all over the world. But for Sham and his team, the journey doesn't end here. With a crop like palm oil, if production is not managed correctly, it can result in significant environmental and social consequences. Given Malaysia's reliance on the product, responsible management is crucial to ensure a sustainable industry. Palm oil is the most important agri-product on the country. Keeping that in mind, the country has also moved to ensure that we actually instill sustainable practices along the whole supply chain. In light of the palm oil industry's prominence in Malaysia, where it employs about one million people and exports to markets worldwide, the country has introduced the Malaysian Sustainable Palm Oil, or MSPO, certification scheme, 
It sets strict guidelines aimed at reducing deforestation, protecting biodiversity, and supporting local communities. As of December 2024, 85% of Malaysia's palm oil mills have become MSPO certified. That's a total of 394 mills nationwide, including the one where Sham works. But that's not all. Around 4.9 million hectares have already been certified under MSPO. This represents about 87% of the planted acreage in Malaysia. Today, many producers are adopting zero waste practices, ensuring that almost every part of the crop gets used. Byproducts like empty fruit bunches, palm kernel shells, and fibers are repurposed for uses such as bioenergy, compost, and organic fertilizers. What you see behind us is the waste from the mills, huh? empty fruit bunch that is processed, shredded, and then used in our plant to generate what we term as green steam and electricity to supply all the energy requirements of this plant as well as that of the neighboring facility. It generates about 20 tons an hour of steam as well as up to 7 megawatts of power. For Sham, decades of dedication to palm oil have meant more than just advancing technology. They have been about building a legacy of responsibility and collaboration. I've been very fortunate to work with leaders willing to put money into research and development. It has been a learning experience and many people turn to us for technology because of the sustainability aspect that we have inculcated and also practiced throughout the industry. It's beautiful to see that the industry does work together.